hello what's up everybody how is it going welcome to another video of tutorial series php specials i'm your host anwar ali and today we are about to start the front end of the news application that we almost completed the back end last time and there are a lot more things we could have done in the back end but uh, i would like to leave it up to you to explore more on what can be done I can give you a few hints on what we we could have done in the back end. For example, we could have re, uh, uh, resized the news after the upload to make all the news uh, have the same width and height. We could also have implemented crop and similarly we could have added categories to each news. So in order to complete the basic crude operation of Codeigniter, I have skipped all those things. But if you really need uh, to know how it works uh, and if you are not able to do it yourself, you can just let me know uh, as they are just the use of the libraries uh, for image resize. There is a library called uh, image manipulation library. You can go through that and try it yourself how to resize the news, how to crop the news. We could also have uh, worked out on a few more topics, but I have skipped them all because we have completed the basic crude operation and that should uh, make you uh, able to access, I mean, uh, explore more yourself. So today I want to start working on the front end, but before that, uh, let us just quickly see what we have completed till now. So here we have made our navigation active using the URS segment. We have implemented the search for the news. We have added new news and listed the news. And we have also implemented the pagination, the edit and delete also works. Now, besides that, uh, I want to let you know that I've all deleted all the dummy news that we added last time. So we only have some news <coughs> with proper title, description and author. Besides that, uh, I want to add image in each and every news so that uh, the front end looks good so we have no image right now so let us just add them before that let, I want to quickly verify my uh, edit form because we worked on add form last time we only added few fields but I'm not sure if I added the uh, proper attributes the form tag for edit news so let us quickly see news edit so we have image and we have checked if there is image just show it that's fine and we need one more thing that's ink type right so ink type equals to multi part slash form dash data so after doing this we should be able to edit in the news so if there are uh, and add the image for it so when I edit this and browse it, I have some images over here. So let me just quickly add them. So first news, edit, browse, and then maybe second news, save, edit, browse, and uh, we have third news here. Let's go to page number two, edit, browse, and fourth news, save, <coughs> browse, fifth, save, and not this one, page number two, edit, and this will be the sixth news save so by doing this we have added the news to i mean added the images to all the news let's just quickly verify if we have images i think um, page number six entry number id number six is still missing the news i mean image so let's verify this id number six this is three so it must be in page number one ID number six. This one is ID number six, and uh, let me just remove these gaps. Browse. ID number six should have. Oh, this is JPEG. 
that is why we only have allowed jpg and that's why that's not working so let me add this one save now let's see id number six it has the news in it so let me check to see if we got all the new all the images for the news and yes we did now uh, let us start working on our front end so let us start with the basic listing first of all so if you go to routes config and routes now we have our base controller as default controller as home so home is the place where we would like to list all the news uh, to the users so that they can browse more with the news so our home controller is this one so in the index function of the home controller what i want to do is i just want to remove let us just keep this i want to grab all the news so do we have any function that allows us to grab all the news yes we do have one I guess so if I go to models news model we have a function called get all where we have listed three items per page right and through our controller but since the item per page is being sent from the controller so that won't be much problem so this is the function that will allow us to grab all the news from the uh, and a news table but we have to pass our limit and offset so we can also implement the pagination in the front end like displaying five news each page so that is up to us so let's see <coughs> what can be done so let us just call this function so dollar <coughs> this news first of all we need to load the models and everything so let us quickly create our constructor public function underscore underscore construct okay this needs parent underscore underscore construct now I need to load my this load load my model so which is news underscore model I don't have to work with session in the front end so everybody should be able to see my news view my news so I do not want to load my session library just like in backend. So backend was the confidential area where only the uh, admin administrator of the website should be able to access. But front end is a common place where anybody can browse the news, view the news. <coughs> so I just loaded the uh, news model. Now I can use the function of news model. This news underscore model, and I want to get all news and my so the two parameters that I need to pass to get all is limit and offset so limit should be um, let's say dollar let's just quickly create our pagination configurations first so I want to load one more library this load library pagination okay and my configs for pagination will be the first one should be base url if you remember and which is <coughs> php not php site underscore url and home index right as i told you we should not use the route uh, value in the pagination page rather we should try to use the full url with the name of the controller and the name of the function because as soon as number appears in the url we should uh, write another routes for it and which could be a little bit complex for you guys so better we use the controller name and function name whenever we are trying to implement pagination <coughs> we could explore more on advanced routing with code igniter but that will be a little bit later uh, maybe towards the last of this series so for now I'm just using base URL equals site URL home index so this is our base URL and my config per page would be 3 or let's say 5 okay and what else what else do we need mm -mm -mm. we have I think already done a news controller of admin 
so let's just check from there so we need base url we need total rows and let's just grab all these things i don't need the use query string because we don't have search or yet but let us just grab all this config from admin panel and paste it in home page okay like this so beside uh, ex uh, i mean we don't want to use three we want to use five in each page so i'm just writing here five now i need to pass the limit and offset so my offset the pagination script automatically generates the offset to my function as a i mean to the base url of the pagination so my offset will appear like this so for example 5 10 right so what i want to do is i would like to grab that offset using a variable dollar offset and it it will the offset is usually blank for the first page so i want to uh, define my default offset to be zero so zero will be my default offset and if any of the offset is passed to the uh, page uh, paginations base url it will be grabbed by the offset <coughs> so my first parameter would be limit that and that is dollar config per page and my second parameter would be offset which is over here so i have grabbed all the news uh, using the function and pass my uh, per page and offset and the fun and then the codes for the uh, pagination in the model is already done so count all is here which is done uh, which is already here and we have get all and we have passed our per page and offset to the limit and offset to the get all function so this should uh, be fine so let me just place it in a data array and let us just call this news and pass the data array to the view like this okay now, now we can uh, see what our home view has so if you go to views and home view so this is our home page we can just uh, remove this dummy data we have our header and footer which might have html head title and footer might have html close body close so i think we should now start working on listing the news so our data news data news has all the news so each in each page we have five news so and that is being passed through the views through data news so we can use news as a variable in home page so for example php so we can use now for each dollar news right as dollar n and we can work on whatever we want so we are about to work on news listing from here but before that i would like to place the pagination uh, number listing code in the bottom so that our numbers appear so inside our view inside index we have the uh, code for this so create links of the pagination library is the function that is responsible to generate the number of pages so let's just see if the number appeared in our home page okay so local host slash ci not ci tips ci so home about contact home about contact so we have two home about contact one for footer and one for header maybe we have done the same thing for footer uh, yes um, footer. this is admins footer so if you go to front end footer we have home about contact and home about and contact so that's why we have header footer now let us just check to see why our pagination <coughs> links is are not working uh, and the reason for this could be uh, where is my controller home controller because we have not initialized the pagination library yet so this pagination I-N-I-T-I-A-L-I-Z initialize dollar config right so I have initialized my pagination library with these configs so let's see refresh this now we can see page number one and page number two have, have appeared because we have five in each page and we have in total six news so it will surely occupy two pages so we have page number one and page number two perfect now let us work on our view to list all the news 
So I would like to use bootstrap which we have in here, right? So bootstrap. So inside my header of front end, I would like to include my bootstrap which is here, right? So my CI project, fine. And link <coughs> and href, I need to have echo site underscore URL and bootstrap slash uh, it should be inside dist right so dist slash css slash boot strap dot css so by doing this we have included our bootstrap to our uh, header now we can use it in all the pages so let us first quickly check to see what our uh, do if we have any uh, in closings no we don't have so i want to start a div class equals to container here class equals to container and i want to end this container to the footer so we have footer over here so after the div class equals before div class equals to footer i would like to have a container this way now let's check to see if we have yes we have a container now we can work on navigation a little bit later but for now i would like to work on news listing <coughs> okay so now let us uh, work on news listing so before news listing i would like to create a row div uh, class equals to row and div class equals to row should end over here like this and once again Inside row, I would like to have uh, div class equals to call dash md dash three for image, or maybe let's say on three for image, and div class equals to call dash md dash uh, let's say six for the texts, and I want to clear fix div class equals to clear fix okay and i want to show the image in this div class equals to call md3 so we should have img src equals to php echo site underscore url and we have all of our images inside uploads folder right so we need to say uploads and we have the name of the news in dollar n dash image right so an arrow image will have image uh, of and uh, let's say uh, the news right now we can also show the description over here and the title and description so what we can do is we can show the title in h1 tag php echo dollar n title and inside p tag i would like to show the description so php <coughs> php echo dollar n description and just below the paragraph tag i'd like also like to show the author name so we can say author equals to php echo dollar n author right let's refresh now and see if we got everything yes we did so we can see that we have everything here but uh, it's not so much <laughs> proper because our news are really big so what we can do is we can use some classes in order to make our news responsive what uh, we can do is we can just add some classes to our image and the class would be we can just add a class that says let's remove this img dash fluid fluid that will make our image responsive now so if you see now we have uh, by using class img dash fluid it makes the width of the maximum width of the image to be 100 percent so it will not take uh, more space uh, than the call md3 the parent div call md3 so the maximum width of the image is now 100 percent but you can still see that our clear fix is not working because in maybe bootstrap 4 we cannot use clear fix this way rather we can just remove this uh, we should have 
some other way but I, for now I would like to just place the row inside for each loop like this so that each call md3 and call md6 has its own parent row let's see now now you can see the image is in left and, and the title and description is in right all right now second thing I just like to make the title and description a little bit long so that uh, it occupies more space so you can see I have only six here so I can make this nine so that it, it now nine plus three is twelve so we have now full width uh, description and title so uh, title I mean uh, <clears throat> now we have the image in the left and title and description in the right which is fine but uh, I don't want to show the entire description over here rather I want to just strip it for like one or two lines so in order to do that we can use substring right so what we can do is substr substring so I just want to print out the substring of the description from uh, 0th index till let's say 200 characters okay let's see so now we have only two lines uh, being displayed now furthermore what we can do is we can add some dots at the end this way so that the people understand that this news is uh, there are something more to this news and the author is also occupying some extra space so what we can do is we can add the author inside the bracket maybe in italic tag like this so we can place the author this inside our paragraph tag with bracket within it so let's say and now let us refresh and you can see the author is here now we can make the author a little bit uh, slant so that it is separated from the description so let's see now yes okay so we have image we have title we have description we can make it much more cleaner uh, by using some CSS which I will not be covering today so I covered news listing today so this is how actually basically a news website really list out the news and we can we will still more clean up in coming days so tomorrow we will be just clean up, clean up the design a little bit and also work on the news detail page but for now this is, this is just uh, I want to discuss today so how we can use the models of the back end and even use the same functions in the front end so we are using the exactly same function that news listing page in the back end was using and we use the same function in the front end just to grab just the difference is that in back end we only listed three news per page but in the front end we use five news with the paginations working so if you click on two oh i, I haven't uh, made my <coughs> paginations okay let me just see if we go on home controller do we have we have the URL to be admin so it should not be admin how did it come to be oh yes we copied the configurations right so we, we have to just add home over here <coughs> okay let's go back I mean here refresh this <coughs> now if you click on page number two it is taking me to the page number two if you click on page number one we are getting to the page number one so it is uh, working fine the presentation is working news listing is working tomorrow we'll make these things anchor we'll clean up some designs and make it look uh, much uh, better so i'll see you guys tomorrow with the continue continuation of this video till then if you like the video if you understood what we discussed today don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and i'll see you guys tomorrow continuing the same topic uh, we'll be building this application uh, much better and make this look much better so till then have a good practice have a good time goodbye